Hey guys, uh, <laughs> I gotta get going, but I wanted to record this little intro for this video. Uh, we're gonna be uh, converting JSON files into CSV files. CSV files are comma separated value files, pretty sure is what it stands for, which is basically uh, text files that are spreadsheets. We're going to do that, and uh, we're gonna dump some data from a website in JSON format. We're going to uh, take the keys and make that the header for the CSV file. And we're gonna look at using other characters for the CSV file delimiters. So uh, I hope you find this useful. And if you have any uh, suggestions, because uh, there's multiple ways to do this, I'm sure I would love to hear them. So let me know in the comments below. So let's jump into the tutorial. Okay, we're gonna be looking at converting JSON output to CSE, CSE, CSV format, comma separated values. Uh, the notes for this are on pastebin. At that link, there should be a link in the description of this video that will bring you there. Ignore that, control C there. Okay, uh, first we're gonna need some JSON output to convert. Uh, I've talked about in the past a website called randomuser.me and how it can generate random user data for you. Let's get 20 results and just put it to the screen. That's it, that's some JSON output. It's a little messy, so let's go ahead and pipe that into JQ dot and it will format it a little bit nicer for us. Now there's multiple layers to this CSV, uh, but we just want the name information. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to say uh, from the results, we want the name. If I type that right, there we go. We have 20 names with titles. Uh, they have some there in other languages here. There's options in the API to filter out stuff like that. But we have the title, which is Mr., Mrs., Madame, stuff like that. First name and last name. For a CSV file, it's very easy to convert this to a CSV file where we have just the list of names and titles and stuff. But we want the first line of the CSV file to be the titles, the, the values, so the keys. Uh, the title, the first name, so we know what each column is. So let's work on that first. There may be a way to do this all in one command. We're going to do it in two commands. Uh, so we're going to uh, pipe that into JQ. We're going to get the names, and then what we want are just the keys. But doing this causes a problem. First of all, we got multiples. We just want the first one for this, so I'm going to say zero. Uh, here you'll notice that it actually put them out of order, because by default, it's going to do them alphabetically. So although we have all three of our keys there, they're out of order. So what we want to do is say unsorted. So keys unsorted. And again, all this is in the notes uh, in the link that I provided. We do that. And now we have title, first name, last name. Great. It's still in an array. We don't want that. What we want to do is flatten it, which actually didn't do anything. Actually, sorry, flattens for the next, the next command. What we want to do right now is we're going to pipe that into uh, at CSV, which will convert that to a CSV. But we have a lot of, it's giving us those uh, backslashes for the uh, quotation marks. We can avoid that uh, for a lot of instances just by going to JQ and adding the dash R command. And now we just have our quotations thing separated. Let's go ahead and dump that into a file called names.csv. Okay, we have our first line. Now let's change up our code a little bit. What we're gonna do is instead of just getting the first result, we're gonna say get all of our results. So we're getting all 20 results. And for this, we want to, so if we just do that, we'll get the names in JSON format. I want to flatten this, which gives it as an array. And then I wanna put that into at CSV. And there we go. Uh, so now I can take that and I can dump that. So I'm going to do two greater thans because we're going to append to our names.csv. And at this point, I can say LibreOffice and give it that file name, and it's going to open it up. It's going to confirm that we're using commas for separation with quotation marks. We're going to click OK. And here we have our spreadsheet with the first line is the keys for each column, and then we have all our information. That could be the end of the tutorial, but I'm going to teach you one more thing. Uh, if we modify that last command, let's say we don't want to use the standard comma. CSV, the C stands for comma. Comma separated values, I believe, is what it stands for. And uh, what we're going to do here is instead of using the CSV command, which is very useful because it does uh, do backslashes for quotation marks and other special characters. So in certain situations, this technique I'm about to show you may not work, but in most cases for me it works. I like using a pipe symbol because then if I'm going to 
cut and grep and grep and cut through a file, it's easier to not have to worry about quotation marks and commas that might be in the fields. And most time when people are writing stuff out for forms and whatnot in spreadsheets, the pipe symbol is very rarely used. So here, instead of saying uh, the at CSV, I'm going to say join it with a pipe and it does the same thing. So you can go the same route uh, that we went before, but instead of using that CSV, you can use the join command and use whatever character you want. So again, uh, link in the description to this paste bin with all these notes. Uh, I ask that you check that out. Also visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description, and I hope that you have a great day.